Vatican Catholic Church Pope Francis demands radical action on climate change. He's demanded that the world leaders make radical decisions during the upcoming COP26 Global Climate Change Summit in Glasgow. In a special message recorded for BBC, Pope Francis called on world leaders meeting at the UN Climate Conference in Glasgow to stop the, quote, degrading of our common home, end quote. He said that they must provide effective responses to the environment emergency and offer concrete hope for future generations. BBC report says, speaking from the Vatican for BBC Radio's four, thought of the day, the Pope talked of crises including the COVID pandemic, climate change and economic difficulties. He urged the world to respond to them with vision and radical decisions so as not to waste opportunities, quote unquote, that the current challenges present. He said, we can confront these crises by retreating into isolationism, protectionism and exploitation, or we can see in them a real chance for change. He evoked the need for a renewed sense of shared responsibility for our world. He added that each of us, however, whoever, wherever we are, can play our own part in changing our collective response to the unprecedented threat of climate change and the degradation of our common, common home. And uh, the Pope also is due to meet US President Joe Biden at the Vatican later. Biden's domestic climate policies are yet to pass through the US Congress. The message is a reminder of the emphasis Francis has placed on environmentalism throughout his pontificate. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. He's frequently evoked the climate crisis in speeches and in 2015 published an encyclical or papal document called Laudato Si focusing on the issue in the text submitted on care for our common home. He decried environmental destruction, stressed the need to take mitigating measures and gave an unambiguous acceptance that climate change was largely man-made. The letter was issued before the 2015 UN Climate Conference in Paris, COP21, and was seen as having some impact on pushing leaders towards an agreement. It was evoked during discussions, including by the president of Paraguay, who spoke of the Pope's, quote, dramatic warning that we face a crisis and need to protect the world upon which we rely for life, end quote. So six years on, today that is, world leaders are now preparing to gather in Glasgow for the year's climate summit, COP26. This is by Neam Harris News Punch. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.